Fox News attempted to do a segment disproving the need for atheist non-discrimination clauses, and they ironically proved the exact opposite point. An historic and controversial move coming out of Madison, Wisconsin, an historic and controversial city. That city is now the first in the country to pass legislation listing atheism as an officially protected class. So how will that impact discrimination lawsuits and could other cities follow suit? We're joined now by former Department of Justice official Jay Christian Adams. Good morning. Thanks for being with us. Morning, Anna. So where does this hostility come from in the first place toward Christians? Well, this ordinance was driven by the Freedom From Religion Foundation. It's a group of angry atheists. They have a very uh, a large and powerful group of supporters, uh, and they hector yes. governments to pass anti-Christian, anti-religious ordinances. They team up with government. For example, they were behind the IRS getting the IRS to target and monitor sermons and homilies by Christian pastors just within the last year. So this is a group that's filled with hostility toward people of faith. Right, so it's never just about tolerating their views, it's about attacking other people's views. Madison City Council Member Anita Weir was one of the voices behind this, and here's her explanation. She said, this is important because I believe it's only fair that if we protect religion in all its varieties, we should also protect non-religion from discrimination. It's only fair. That does, in some sense, seem fair, but that's not exactly their aim, is it? No, it never works out that way. Not only does it bring lawsuits, but don't forget, this is a local ordinance, Tucker, and that means that a whole body of bureaucrats will spring up that will be tasked with hectoring people of faith, badgering uh, in Wisconsin people of faith who uh, might not want to hire somebody. You know, there's a lot of reasons why Christians or Jews might not want to hire an atheist. In fact, it's in the New Testament. It, it says things such as uh, avoid them. What a great clip that is. You don't need to protect atheists with the law. Hello? I mean, sometimes Christians don't want to hire them. That's why you need to protect them. Hello? He's like, uh, it says it in the Bible that, you know, you shouldn't hire them or be affiliated with them if you're a Christian. If you're a good believer of the one true religion, then yeah, fuck atheists. Well, that's exactly the reason why they're adding atheists to these non-discrimination clauses, or they did in one place in America. But they should absolutely follow suit all over the place. Why? Because it absolutely is a real thing. Oh, what? Everybody views atheists equally? C come on, man. I mean, we've covered stories on the show before. There's seven states in America where it's on the state law books that atheists are banned from running for political office. Now, thankfully... Those are unconstitutional, so the federal government has to protect in the opposite direction there. But it does tell you something about the mindset of certain states that they're leaving these laws on the books that openly discriminate against atheists. According to polling data, uh, atheists are the last group or kind of person that anybody wants their kids to marry into. They'd rather you marry anybody other than an atheist. Atheists are the last group that anybody would vote for. I mean, Muslims are discriminated against pretty strongly in the U.S. Gay people are, but atheists are below them. Polling data also shows that people equate atheism with immorality. That if somebody says, hey, uh, I'm an atheist, that people hear, oh, that means you're immoral. That means you don't believe in right and wrong. You're a relativist and a negative nihilist, and we don't want to have anything to do with you. Well, all those things are ridiculous, and all those things demonstrate an irrational bias against atheists. Only the perfect framework to make atheists part of non-discrimination clauses. I mean, how much more evidence do you need? When somebody would rather vote for, and I'm not kidding about this, a pot-smoking lesbian philanderer over an atheist... That shows you the American people are way behind on the issue of acceptance of atheists. And, again, they just prove our point. He's like, you don't need to protect atheists. Anyway, let me describe exactly why you need to protect atheists. Hello, people want to not hire them, so let them not hire them. But that doesn't make any sense. That's something that's arbitrary, and it should not stand in the way of somebody getting hired or fired. Right? I mean, that's like... 
This is, reminds me of like the old days with the Red Scare. Are you a communist? Do you have any affiliation to communists? Do you know any other communists? Uh, are you an atheist? Do you know any atheists? Have you ever thought about being an atheist? Well, if you are, we're gonna have to ostracize you from society and put you on blacklists and not allow you to, to have access to the mainstream. I've seen this before and it doesn't end well. Let's not go down this road again. Let's protect the classes that need protecting. Add not only gay people to all non-discrimination clauses, which they need to be, but also atheists. Because Fox News is proving again exactly why you should do that.